Hi guys, how are you? This is Blackbridge. I wanted to make this video so I can show you what, I, what I've been doing on the spreadsheet about the generals. And I know a lot of you don't have access to, to the Google Drive, so it just made a lot more sense to make a video. And plus, I, that way I can actually show you the, what I found and I can actually explain why I think this, this pair is better than another one or this journal is better than, 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 than other. So simply, it's a lot easier to explain on a video than just writing, writing down in the, in the Alliance chat. Uh, first of all, bear with me. You know I've been sick for a few months now, actually, and I am under a lot of medication, so my mind is, mind is always a bit clouded. And English is my second language, so that one's also important. So, well, this is the spreadsheet itself. You know, it's got a lot of information. I've been working on the generals, too. I'll, I'll show you all this information in a bit. But first of all, I wanted to, to, to show you this. Uh, this is why I think March size is super important. Because um, if you take the, 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 the percentage that we are working on with the with entire buffs that we are, we've seen lately, like 1,200%, 1,500%, then all the all the all the all the stuff we get from the generals, all the percentages, is not as relative as it used to be. Right now, that is not as important as it used to be. So I need you to understand that while the generals are super important, they only represent maybe a 10-15% of the entire pie. And I forgot here about the, the dragons and beasts. You know, so that is also important. So I think generals might be something like 10 percent you know dragons will light up another 10 percent probably even more or less i don't know but the important part is that um if we see numbers alone if we only focus on one number we're going to be deciding based on that number and that is a wrong this is a wrong choice in this game we need to consider a lot of things and once we have the big picture then we can say oh okay this is the best general for me you know i have roland and martinez here so if you analyze these numbers, 115% attack from Roland and 161% from Martinez, then you're going to go with Martinez, right? But that is wrong, simply because, first of all, you need to understand that these numbers are achievable once you fully ascend the generals and once you do the final uh, specialization of the generals. The specializing a general is super expensive. It requires a lot of gems and a lot of rune stones. And for a lot of us guys that are free to play, it is super hard to get. So I don't see myself fully ascending uh, any general actually and because it's, it's super expensive. And I might do it, but it's gonna take me a long time. And that is why I make this video because if I am going to be investing on a general, I wanna make sure that he is at least one of the best. So this number right here and the, these two numbers right here to the, to the right are the, the current numbers in the game. Right now we are seeing players with 1500% buffs. So if we add the 1500% buffs plus what the general gives us, then you, we can see that the difference between them two is, is not as big as if we only consider the generals, right? So going from 1615, to 1661%, yes, it is important, of course, but it's not as big as it used to be. Meaning that there are other attributes that come from the generals that might be, I mean, that actually I just proved that I, they make a bigger difference. And that is right here in the, in the spreadsheet. So there's a lot of information here, a lot of columns here that, uh, for instance, dragons, that is relevant, is important, but you shouldn't be really uh, making a decision based on that. Because you, you may say, okay, I don't have a dragon. But then eventually in the game you will. And not only that, the, uh, but later on, uh, when you start doing a lot of a PvP, you are actually going to put a general on, uh, I mean a dragon on that, on that general. Simply because it improves that general and improves your attack. So even if that general like Roland does not require a... A dragon, you are going to be putting a, a, a dragon in Roland because you want to increase those buffs. So this column is just for information. I don't base my decision on this one. Uh, attack and defense is super important because you need to uh, analyze if you want that general to be working as a defense general on the wall or maybe you are going to be using that general as, uh, as a reinforcement general. Then you need someone that works from attack and defense, right? But if you are only going to be attacking with this general and you're sure that from now on you're only going to be attacking it, then yes, you can go for another pair, right? 
but that is just this column. March size, like I said, is super special. Uh, I'll explain you why after you see the numbers. And dead into wounded and wounded into death. Dead into wounded means that uh, my troops are not dying as much as they used to be and they are now just wounded. And the, the, the important part here is that if they die, I have to retrain them and that is super expensive. But if they are wounded, then all I need to do is to heal them. So I am protecting my troops that way. The wounded into death rate, it, it, it works the other way around. But for the troops that you're attacking to, actually to, to the enemy. So you will kill more troops from the enemy and, and that is going to give you more points. For me, it's more important, I think, dead into wounded because it protects my troops and prevents me from spending more resources and time just retraining them. But that is my call. You can make your own too. This one from the specials, uh, this one is very important because uh, some generals have special skills and some of them are very useful and other ones are just useless. And that is very important to analyze too. So you cannot just choose a general based on these numbers. You cannot say, okay, look, Martinez is the, the, stronger, the strongest one and that's what I'm going with. And I'm going to show you why. Uh, just analyze these two. You're going to have Hannibal and Martinez. If you just choose this number, because it's huge, and I'm sorry, this one is 136, yes. Uh, if you choose this two, you will go with Martinez because it's more powerful, right? But uh, if you analyze the, 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 the rest of the data, you see that he's not the best one out there. First of all, Martinez cannot have the mounted attack skill book. And that means you cannot add that 24% buff. But Hannibal can. So if you add that 25%, you actually reach the same number as Martinez, meaning that they are just as strong as uh, 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 Hannibal is just as strong as Martinez. You know, that, that is very, very important. But if you start comparing the rest, uh, Hannibal has more defense. HP is very important for mounted. So Hannibal has more. This one right here from Martinez, this 10% 10, 10 march speed is useless. You're not, you're never going to be using that. So he doesn't give you anything good uh, from, from the specials. While Hannibal gives you a 65% buff for ground troops. Normally when you're attacking when mounted, you are attacking your enemy's ground. And your enemy will defend against your mounted with range. Meaning that you also want to kill that range a little bit, right? So you are also sending a little bit of ground troops. Meaning that in your march, there should be a large percentage of mounted and a smaller percentage of ground. Meaning that this buff from Hannibal is useful because it's going to increase the attack from your ground. It's going to protect indirectly your, your mounted. It's a bit complicated, but you know how this works. It's the rock, paper, scissors of the game. So th this column is very sp special because you need to understand that some of these ones are useless and like I said, another ones are very useful. Wounded into red already explained and the rallies. The, the difference here is only 2%, but there's still a, a difference in favor of Hannibal. And Hannibal only works on the attack side. Yes, the dragon, like I said, the Martinez needs one, but I don't see that one as a big, big deal. And everything here on the right is just the attributes, they work. This is not, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the, this is not a 105% increase for the general. This is actually a, a number that the game gives you. And you have to divide these numbers by 10. So in reality, this would be like a 10.5% and leadership translate to, translates to HP. So you need to divide these numbers by 10 in order to, to be able to understand what they are, right? And the difference they make is just marginal. For instance, Hannibal and Martinez. From 115 to 120, is, it's only 5 units that actually translate to a 0.5% buff. So if you're going for that 1000% buff, adding a 0.1% or not is not going to make a big difference. So the attribute, the starting attribute, is not a, a, a reason why you should actually choose a general or not. It's just a slight bonus or not that you may get from them. So this one is not very important. So as you saw here, you need to, to take the, the whole equation into, into consideration. In this case, I think Hannibal is, 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 is better than Martinez. Yes, it is. But I wouldn't use it 
because it's only an attack uh, general. If I want to defend with him, I'm, I'm not going to be using it. It's going to be useless. So that means that uh, you need to choose another one, actually. And that gets more complicated once we add the assistant generals, because as you know, gen assistant generals, they don't, uh, they're special because you, you don't use the, the gear from them. The, the what else? Uh, the ascending skills don't, don't come into play. And the, the dragons also are a bit complicated because while they can use a dragon to activate one of their skills, the percentages from that dragon will not add up. So, uh, yeah, that's another thing to consider. Um, there are some book skill book limitations. Um, I think one had the, I think it was Barbarossa, for instance, very special because uh, he cannot have the skill book, the March size skill book on level one, two, and three, but you can put the level four, which is weird. I do not know if the level four skill book, which adds 12%. March size increase will cancel this 10% from the main skill from the general. <clears throat> I'm sorry, that is something that we need to actually just do some experiments here and there and try to find that out. But I'm, I'm doing the best I can with the information that I have. So based on that, you know that the assistant generals are just a bit complicated. So now uh, let's work on the on the combos here. I work on a, on a couple of columns here. So the three columns that what I call the attack scores, which is the actual amount of attack units that you bring into battle. So while a general might, 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 might have bigger numbers on the percentage of buffs that he gives you, he may not bring a lot of uh, attack units into the battle simply because he doesn't have a high march size buff, you know? So if you actually think about Roland and Martinez, Martinez is very powerful, but he takes very, uh, he, he doesn't give you a March size buff, meaning you are taking less troops into battle. So he is powerful, but you're not multiplying that, those buffs into a lot of, a lot of troops. While Roland, on the other hand, Roland is not as powerful, but he is able to multiply his, his, his percentage into a lot more troops. So that makes a massive that makes a makes a massive difference, and uh, I calculated the numbers here. Um, you can see that this is the permanent column, meaning that this is what you get all the time. Uh, you would get this buff. This is uh, calculated based on the on the power of the troops multiplied multiplied by the by the amount of troops you're bringing that comes from the march size. And then you get this real number, and this number is either permanent or only works for rallies, right? So this is the part that I care about, because uh, the combo that I find out about, which is right here, Roland and Sao. Oh shit! What did I do? Okay, I'm sorry. So this, this pair. What am I doing here? Okay, so these ones. Uh, they have a massive 34% march size. It's, it is super big. And that, in, that's tra that translates to having the best score. You, if you use those two, you are bringing a lot more power into buff. Simply because their buffs are not buff. They, they are not bad. They are not the biggest one, you know. 245 is not as high as 271. But we know that 245 plus the 1500% that we had before we, we get from other other stuff like gear and research stuff. The, the difference between these two is not big. It's only 26%. And that that is not a, a, a massive reason just to go ahead and choose Martinez and Mordor, for, for, for example, because the March size, it, that one is a massive difference. You know, we're taking almost three times as much uh, March size increase when we use Roland and Sao than when we use Martinez and Mordor. You know, it's, it's a big difference. And that is why I think this data is important because it actually shows me how much power I'm actually bringing into battle. You know, I may be taking generals that are slightly less powerful but bring a lot more troops. And that is what I want. You know, so analyze all this information. I think I was able to confirm all these combos. I just have bad memory and I was able I wasn't able to remember. But I think it was Liberty the one who actually helped me with this. And 
and here up here you can find the one the combos that don't work so this was this one was the, the big one but it, it didn't work Tobias was able to confirm that today so we have to well we can put that one on the list any of these one don't don't work so just try to find a, a combo that works for you i like this one a lot where is it a uh, roland and sao in my personal choice is actually roland and ufa why because ufa is free to play is easy to obtain in the tower and ufa also works as a ground general his buffs work for mounted and for ground meaning that i can possibly use him as a as an assistant general for ground troops that you know how this game is you know you you, you want to have a general but then it's really hard to to get that one or you have to just wait and go to the relics and raid the tavern i mean, I mean it's hard so i don't know when i'm gonna get sour young so when i get it sure i'll change it i'll exchange it but if you look at the numbers you can see that they both have a very similar score 3008 against 2956 2956 so the difference is not massive uh, you are doing very well if you're choosing like me right now i'm going with ufa and roland because i know roland and ufa can be easily found in the tower and that doesn't mean that for instance martinez and mordor is bad it's just um, all i'm saying is this is not as good as the other one you're still going to have a massive massive combo as long as you work on your research, on your gear, and all that stuff, right? Um, I also like Roland and UFA simply because of the buffs and debuffs. It's, it's massive, you know, while these other two only give you the 60% ground and the march speed, march speed, which is useless, right? So we get a 70% buff, buff for ground, 6% for other troops, and 40% debuffs. They do work offensively and defensively, and the march size is massive and don't, they don't require a dragon so <laughs> there's no way to to say this this combo is bad it's, it's extremely good this one is the better one but i'm going with this one as and until i get south so that's that's what i wanted to show you guys in this video i don't want to make it any longer because it's already long enough there's a lot of information here so if you find any mistakes here you want to give me any any opinions i'll be welcome to i'll be happy to to welcome them because i love to talk about this stuff as like you can see and uh, i need to fix a lot of stuff that might might be wrong here maybe some of these stats are wrong i don't know and yeah I, i'll be waiting to, to hear from you guys so have fun and i'll, I'll see you on the game